September 19, 2022, uh, I was just the neighbor. The name of the family is Mohar, and I was gonna pay condolences uh, to a daughter-in-law, uh, I should say, wife of Mr. Frank Mohar, who passed away due to cancer issues. And whose mother-in-law passed away now uh, just a few days ago at age 85 due to some other, what I heard now, issues than cancer. Uh, so I was gonna, I was gonna express my condolences to Mrs. Maida. Therefore, a daughter-in-law to a person who passed away, or I should say, her mother-in-law passed away. Yeah. So here's what I have to say about this. When thrown inside of the psychiatric institution in 2013, labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic, the neighbors in this very family orchestrated a ceremony which did not take place today. This was a ceremony talking about the Peterlin, talking about, especially, about Dana Kolenz, that's a neighbor right here across the street, talking about Miroslav Berger, talking about Igor Kotar, talking about the neighbors around here, orchestrated uh, a farewell ceremony, if you like, uh, in front of a cremated uh, vase, whatever, uh, of the lady who was still there. She was still alive. She just got six months earlier or something like this diagnosed with a cancer. Why have they done this kind of stuff? Why have they committed themselves to something like this? Because this is what was orchestrated on at least two more occasions. Not the case today. It's something I have anticipated. That's exactly what's going to happen when I'm going to go there. I'm going to bump into my neighbors with whom my the Mahar, therefore a wife of Frank Mohar, who passed away supposedly from the cancer because of eating figs from our garden, extorted on cooperation with them. If there will be anything against my neighbors, then it's going to be no, no. None of that happened today. We didn't meet any neighbor. And the ceremony is held at Smolina Gora. It's going to be the funeral tomorrow that's going to take place for this lady. The lady told me in 2013 she got cancer about six months earlier or something like this. And she doesn't give a fuck anymore at this stage. She was a bedrock of Milan Kuchan inside of this family household from the day one since 1995. She have rode the wave of Bordka Pahor Milan Kuchan all the way like a dictator inside of that home, like a police, like a police, and so she policed the home, basically. Just like father inside of this home, the same thing. It's a complicated issue, but extremely important for me. She doesn't give a fuck anymore. She got a cancer, they came up with idea to start this procedure through Slovenian government. Number one, to secure employment to a granddaughter, which secured employment at the company here, Slovenian company, which sent her to China. Now there was this man, 
skinny man, owner, who was involved in MK Ultra K since 1995. I know, I remember, the owner of the Slovenian company now have 400 employees, so it's going to be impossible to prove me wrong in this case. In 2013, I was labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic thrown inside of the wall at the psychiatric institution in Ljubljana Polje. But now it's my time. Now it's the time. Now it's the time to confront my neighbors with the police. Now it's the time to confront Mr. Robert Golop. Mr. Robert Golop is now prime minister in Slovenian government who claimed me since if you're going to talk bad about the father. It's not about the father that he was uh, the only one who was beating me up, drugged up inside here, inside of the kitchen. He got authorization from Milan Kuchun first for literally physically beating when I was trafficked from United States of America, from Miami, Florida, here inside of this household. Then my father, hungry for excitement, retiree, retired already, without absolutely any problems in life, headed for more and begun to torture, begun to engage in beatings with the Igor Kotar, with the neighbor, doctor, physician, Igor Kotar, the two were doing privately sessions, abuse, beatings. Father solicited Milan Kuchan and whichever opportunity was possible, whichever opportunity meet him, interacted with him, to give a green light for the torture. He became obsessed. High on adrenaline. Violence is what empowered him. This is where retirement went. In Croatia, it was the sex with the prostitutes that powered him. And it's possible other crimes my father is involved in. That's going to be up to other people to decide about that. Now, Robert Golop was the one who handled this case next to Borut Pahor, but this is the same thing, since 1995. He was the one through whom I would supposedly negotiate. They, they demanded for me to choose person that would be like, person that like, like my uh, advocate in that sense. He's no fucking advocate. This is Milan Kuchan, basically. Who threatened further if you will write stuff about your father if you will continue to write the stuff about your father therefore bad stuff about your father bad stuff about my father is actually witnessing about what police about what slovenian state have omitted attempted to omit amend, uh, attempted to hide it's a crime it's an ethnic cleansing crime. It's a genocide crime. I'm not the only person who suffered in this process. Mm -hmm. If you will continue to talk bad about your father, the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to issue one death certificate. You're not going to get one anywhere in cooperation, blah, 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 blah. If you will continue to search for one, the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to deliver to you a real remainings of your father. So if we give it that certificate, you better be quiet so your father can be somewhere, whatever. Don't even think about going after him or something like this. And if you will, we're going to deliver to you a real cremation it was all about the cremation not about the real corpse they had me on a various locations bullied me with uh, how I'm gonna catch the father how this is gonna be the first one that he didn't die and da -da 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 -da. well according to the MK ultra scenario this lady who passed away in home for elderly people, well, they have institutionalized her about six months ago. 85 year old. It would be my father who would come as next. And it was something I was told is going to come right after the death of Queen Elizabeth. 
based on non-funeral situation, uh, actually based on non-farewell ceremony, which we have not, I have not witnessed today, when they have rehearsed under MK Ultra, extorted on cooperation with the neighbors on three occasions at least, I know for fact that my father will be killed without absolutely any doubt they will kill him they will make the real corpse they did not dare to fuck around with the ceremony therefore my meeting the neighbors today because they know this shit is a little bit too much for them so based on this fact that they are afraid they will go ahead now and truly remove father from sort of life support so they will deliver a real corpse of my father instead so there'll be no doubt about it. My neighbor, a granddaughter, did secure a job in China. She did go overseas with her husband. She was involved in this crime also since 95 for all the wrong reasons. Uh, I reminded closely of enough so that I even mistaken her on two, three occasions. Uh, on, on a nurse, Andrea Jeric, psychiatric nurse involved in, in, in this case, whose family I met, father and this and that, was at her home and so on. So don't even think about that stuff either. For all the wrong reasons, this daughter, granddaughter, I should say, the person who passed away, this was the most fucking evil person, one of the most fucking evil people involved in MK Ultra. But she had to be to secure employment, to secure the job, basically. So we met today. I did not meet with her mother instead. Uh, and so we exchanged the words. The words were really, really friendly, but I'm not friendly. This is a word declaration on you. I'm heading to the court. And sooner than not, I'm going to have you there too, along with the car, with the Citroën and everything else. If you're going to remove the father from the process, if you're not going to deliver the father in the court in a state as good as new, because this man committed atrocities, I will charge one with atrocities, with the worst crimes possible. I will pursue the same justice against him. I know. Even my mother indicated that the very next day after I published this news here. So they are now in a very, very fast process. This is the news about my father, basically. You, if you like to read about my father, then here it is. I have excluded the name, the neighbor, that's Igor Kotar. Very important. That was another violent thug. Yeah, it won't be here, it's not going to stop here, and I'm declaring you a war on this stuff. Yeah, you're going to play with the jobs. Uh, you're going to play with the jobs through the psychiatrist who was involved since 1995 in this. He murdered about 400 people. He murdered about 400 people. His name is Peter Kapsch. He murdered in on behalf of Slovenian police, on behalf of Milan Kuch and Bord Pahor in Novo Mesto, in Dolenska region, and also in Ljubljana region, he would pay visitations to a private companies where he would arrange death for the people, literally through employers on behalf of police. Harassed, bullet, cornered people, here the people would go off. So I know they're going to play more with the job. They already played with the job. They used the forced unemployment. They harassed with a car. The car is going to the court. Along with the car going to the court, it's going to be all other stuff that's going to go, that's going to open up in a court too. So I know they are in a big hurry of a removal of father from, uh, from the picture. It is impossible for me to go visit father. Regretfully, I have to say so. 
it's this here that he was throwing in my face this is like a racket that is attached to one's hands so he doesn't try to pull his uh, food delivered to him through the stomach because he refused to eat it's that stuff that they brainwashed one under MK Ultra. It's situated with a, with a piss, with all kinds of dirt, with all kinds of stuff. Uh, when I confronted uh, nurses as home for elderly people, they indicated there's nothing wrong with it. I took it home. I was going to take it to Dolensky List, just as they told me to do it. But Dolensky List was completely that's a media completely involved in this crime against me it's really not the place to do it uh, and just as I was about to do I got a cut on my feet bleed myself father was the one who bullied during my visitations to home for elderly people uh, I have video recordings of him as soon as I left he was capable to remove immediately this records from uh, his hand it was all kinds of stuff he bullied with the scenarios from MK Ultra trying to make me go off he stated to me during MK Ultra that I will eventually go off he stated to me under MK Ultra you're not gonna go and see psychiatrists anymore and then he stated to me you will sorry you will go see psychiatrists again you will go see one psychiatrist again. And he said, me, it's gonna be me, I. Yeah, and I didn't know how. Well, it's gonna be through Peter Cops, you're gonna be meeting me at home for elderly people. So this is not possibility for me anymore to go and pay attention to somebody like this. Uh, he once acknowledged me as, um, it was like very, very non-cooperating, annoyed, that I paid visitations, so I stopped paying visitations, despite my mother coming to me afterwards, who also blamed me along that I am the one who agitated him. My mother asking me that father would like to see me, that he had not seen me for a very long time. Sorry, from this point and on, the only time we're going to see each other is going to be at the court. Doing anything else would just really jeopardize me. I have also written a little bit too much on my blog so that I would go and uh, contradict my own evidence I have obtained in the process. There's no necessity anymore for visitations. It's now time for the court not to expose myself to police and to a psychiatrist who did stuff like this. You see, I work in a little bit different principles. Going back to these issues, I was going to present you with, if you remember, who my father is, who my father was, what role did he play with the Dr. Igor Kotar, the neighbor, therefore, to this issue here, which was published here on September the 16th, 2022, in Slovenian language. It all pertains to psychiatrist Peter Kaps. You see this stuff here? Peter Kaps. I indicate this individual murdered about 400 people in Dolenska region, also Ljubljana, with the police, on behalf of police, with assistance of police, corner them um, through the incidents at the workplaces, make people, cause people either long-term uh, unemployment uh, or even confrontations with police, incident at uh, work, uh, through the incidents at the workplace, and then also at home in a private settings he would be meeting psychiatrist Peter Kaps since 1999, would be meeting every day for a couple of hours prior to, prior to his work with a police director and his uh, either police director or his uh, substitution, which right now is Mr. Ogulin. It was a lie and Ogulin he would meet with since half an hour basically since director of police left in 2001 
the original director from police from Chantierne. It was Anton Olai who replaced him as the director of police, whose substitute was no other than Janus Ogulin. Jan, uh, uh, Janus Ogulin right now, who would back then, who would meet with a psychiatrist Peter Kapsch for 30 minutes every day since 1999, is now director of police in the city of the Novo Mesto. Yeah? The very next day, my mother published this stuff here to me. It was immediately that I got the answer. It was immediate answer. Here is a story. Here, here is the guy claims that he have observed this with his this own eyes. This was just used. They, uh, this is just something else. Were trying to convince me to not swim inside of the Kirka River. Sorry about this. Now I got myself in a little trouble here with this. So that stuff was published on September the 16th. And it was my mother who rushed the very next day. Uh, this is under September 16 because the US time is late. And I have also published that stuff in morning early hours. You can see here under September 16, in later time, at 12, at 1300 hours almost, 1300 hours, uh, you can see the mother placed me as a response. What I was also promised the case is going to be an outlet with uh, a journal article uh, a rent of that mother, basically salary, I don't know how we say, Pocoinina, Penzia, pension from that mother, uh, basically how the bank, through the fast procedure, managed to repossess uh, the house, obviously afterwards or something like this. This is how basically they have interpreted to me, talking about here Milan Kuchan, talking about Bord Pahor, talking about Robert Golob, talking about Tanya Payon, talking about Slovenian government here. If you will go, uh, talking about psychiatrist Peter Kaps, if you will go after me, you're going to be finished off very, very quickly. You will get no support from the field of the psychiatrists, from the Slovenian psychiatrists. I never got any. I only got problems. Uh, they only go after you with the idea to destroy you. So this is a diabolical plan they continue to follow up, and I continue to religiously follow up on my plan, on plan I will not back down, will not soften myself, will absolutely do everything I possibly can to get you. Now that Robert Golob Bord Pahor, who was in London right now at the funeral of the Queen Elizabeth, do have extremely powerful international, I should say, possibly, but I'm not going to guarantee, European political atmosphere as a result of meetings with one another inside a base, meetings based on which, hmm, based on which a crime they solicited against me and built relationship with these people. That is something I cannot argue, dispute with, dispute with. However, we will proceed with the original plan. The next one they will remove from. The next one they will remove from the process is going to be my father. And here you can see that's a Sparkasse, uh, a bank right there. And that's what they told me. That's what your house, your residence, that's what's going to be. It's going to be your mother that's going to remove next from the process. Uh, and then that's what's going to happen. If you're going to go against me as a psychiatrist, I will get you destroyed real fast. Now, in this video I have published on in Slovenian language, however, on September the 16th, and I did not translate one, I identified an uh, individual as the one from uh, who has a sister, 
uh, and I don't know what else I pointed out with one. Uh, this is the individual whom Peter Kopsch have used for the setups at several different companies. Uh, is built about meter 70 or something like this. Uh, not as strong uh, and was literally used as a setup option by Slovenian police uh, for the workers that at times will not be even uh, first for the workers that would respond to him in a negative way because of his physique, uh, inability to perform certain tasks, and then as a setup for certain uh, people also who would not be acquainted with the one. Uh, who would either join the company uh, or would not be acquainted with one that he already got a training inside of the company at let's say night shift and all of a sudden would appear in a daytime as a new trainee and that's how they would play with the people with the workers get them fired back and forth uh cripple people cripple people uh all kinds of stuff they played Here, there you go. So this is how I know that the next one in line is gonna be for the removal process. However, that's for the real death. They will destroy him. They will destroy him, it's gonna be my father. Yeah? However, I do have the proofs about what I stated. The individual from the cable company where the granddaughter of the lady who passed away was involved in crime since 1995. I remember how his company grew up. I remember him. I remember his sons. I remember him physically, what he looks like, and I just returned back. The only thing I did was I walked from her house. I walked into this house. Now we're going to take a time here for you to see. This is the time. I didn't have to go absolutely anywhere, absolutely anything do. This is the way it operates. And I'm not going to be the one who's going to give up on anything. I need my father in the court. Mr. Robert Golop. With acting president Bort Pahor. Huh? This is this Milan Kuchan clown here that you see. Let me explain to you, sir, if you are going to go and remove my father from the process, you will be charged with murdering evidence in a process. I will charge you with murdering an individual to hide evidence, so you're going to be even more liable for crime against me than my father. And it goes the same likewise to Borat Pahor, Tanya Fayon. Practically all the politicians inside the Slovenian parliament who are very extremely well acquainted with this case. That's all I wanted to inform you. That's all I wanted to warn you. Do not touch. You will deliver the father to me on a court of law in one piece. In a good state of mind, just as he was before you made him ill. Father have undergone the process inside of the hospital known as... Uh, stroke. On uh, at least two occasions during which psychiatrist Peter Kapsch fasted one. What I mean by this, bedridden, and exactly this type of, not this type of support, sorry, uh, once on this type of support, my father managed to lose weight. 
he would go, he would voluntarily bedridden himself for the sake of Milan Kuchan, for the sake of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, so that he would fasten himself, lose weight, improve his health, and it's also something what father indicated, claimed to me under MK Ultra is going to do because it was the mother they did not properly feed him. He was eating the fucking bread and drink tea. However, I was the one who wanted to prepare him eggs, feed him with a fish, with all kinds of stuff. It wouldn't fit him. He voluntarily, knowingly, just as he declined to eat food inside of the hospital and inside of the home for elderly people, have gone straight for the junk food that mother prepared him, however. Don't worry. They all work along with one another together in this case. So you are going to deliver my father on a court of law in exactly the same state as he was before I even left to Poland, before I left anywhere. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna deliver him on a court of law in a tip-top state where you're going to be charged with, well, with the murder, that's one thing, an attempt to temper the evidence. He is a key evidence in this case, and you're going to deliver one to the court of law. It's going to be you that's going to be next. This was recorded on September the 19th, 2022. It's right now 1736 hours. Oh, luckily that that stop recording did not work. I have to burn this movie on the Windows Movie Maker. Uh, that's going to take me about another hour. But you make know that straight from the place where farewell ceremony should have taken place and it did not. According to MK Ultra, three times they rehearsed one. I came here and I stretched this information. Here's the original piece, a follow up on me from the psychiatrist's cup, sure, I shouldn't even say mother because this was really involved in MKR trouble. I got up what I published early in the morning. That was the response I got. And yeah, Dan Kuchen, 55% off, was all the time involved in MK Ultra before the company was even in Slovenia. That was just a regular. But yeah, it appeared again on a table. I would be selling everything, selling everything, no job, no nothing. And the bank repossession of the house, that's how that's done. You don't pay taxes, bye-bye. That's all there is. This was the stuff that slowed down the records that I demonstrated you. The procedure I should have followed up with and meet with people in the city. I was actually told that the records, if not immediately given to journalists, which would take them to the police, that's something when you do something like that, when you hand it to the people that are connected to the police, you lose completely control over the case. And that is something I will not allow. That's 28 years of my life. It's like somebody said, it's my life. You're not going to steal my life, Mr. Joe Biden. You understand, Joe? You're not going to steal my life. 28 years. Whether this case was necessary, a must, to go about like this, something that, that just had to take place, maybe even in respect to Ukraine, why? Why would that be the case? Why would that be? This was a must case so that people who committed crime, or atrocity inside of this very house could act clearance with my parents. 
That's why this was a must, this case. That's why it had to take a place. No connection other than that, Mr. Joe Biden. None whatsoever. You ruined my life. You ran through the U.S. Constitution, through the Bill of Rights, through United Nations, like one never fucking existed on the first place. From London, from British. It used to be British. But then beginning the 98, 99, the royals who got themselves not a team to interact with here inside of this household. Talk about psychologists, social engineers, professional social engineers, psychologists, psychiatrists they got to interact with from overseas from United States of America. They had their own people in Britain, don't get me wrong. It's what grew, according to the Prince Charles, in a must after work. Work assignment at home. Home work assignment at home for all the psychiatrists and psychologists. Not maybe for everybody, but for many across what became known as more and more United Kingdom. Use your brain to understand what I told you right now. They didn't even have, to, when they came here inside of this household in 95, guts in 96 and 97 to say, I'm from United Kingdom. It was always Great Britain. That's why I stress British. And then it was more and more United Kingdom, 98, United Kingdom, 99. And it was all how much you worth, basically land-wise, uh, military-wise, expenditure, and so on. Americans brainwashed them on that issue alongside Putin. So they became more competitive in a sense of uh, power gaining the power strength back these people practically disowned after the second world war i witnessed all this inside of this house it was said to me by prince harry don't fuck us have you seen by the way how long the procedure burial procedure of queen elizabeth was You see what this is? The burial procedure of Queen Elizabeth, it's still in place. It still goes on. You see what this stuff is? You see what this is going on? You see what's going on? Look, Queen's funeral one hour ago. Check this out. It's still in the process. Don't make us fuck for the whole things to go on again to repeat itself. Do you understand the meaning of these words? A queen is funeral was rehearsed already in the past. And they did orchestrated one not once, not twice, not three fucking times. They systematically developed one it was not one-time procedure but it was upgraded systematic burial which was taking place in the future sometime procedure they have developed over the course of the years on several occasions i had to participate in britain exactly what i stated Don't make us fuck and do the whole thing again. For words of Prince Harry to me. Joe Biden stated different. Joe Biden stated. Nothing. If you don't mention what I mentioned right now. 
And even then, most likely not. The royals extorted the same way like Slovenian government. They blackmailed together with the board power with Milan Kucha. No matter what you're going to do, it's not going to be anything. And it didn't come to me clear what the fuck they were talking about exactly. It comes to me clear now that Milan Kucha and Bord Pahor, Tanya Fajon, Slovenian delegation, Slovenian government, parliament, the crime from the Slovenian government has a special insurance policy on London. London. London crime in Slovenia accent crime in Slovenia against me accent through the London with an accent through the London special crime insurance provided by the British by the Britons by the London if you will talk against us la 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 nor this lady here that was a mother from Queen Elizabeth not Queen Elizabeth's sister and I have to be careful I have to be careful because Joe Biden told me Queen Elizabeth's sister in, uh, this one definitely did not pass away on the date of her death because she interacted in if you want to call this afterlife Under MK Ultra on many occasions whenever they brought me to Britain with me. Definitely did not. Was a real bully. This one here, Joe Biden told me you gotta be careful with one because one did, one really did pass away. La 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 la. I don't think any one of the two passed away. They continued to interact. It's a upper class, not even upper class. It is, yeah, even upper class. If I go back to my father, if I go to Robert Golop, if I go to Milan Kuchan. If I go to the Slovenian politicians, who, by the way, have the same kind of conduct like the royals, you know, like a top of uh, top of the chain, imperial, Mr. Milan Kuchan, imperial, Mr. Borat Pachor. I understand I was talking, calling them tsars and kings in Slovenia, which this so-called communists, they are coming from. Yugoslavia as ex-communist members became so significant through my words that even some foreign royals began to interact with them in a sense as if they are royals became a complete frequent for the people like this eventually to observe what otherwise should be their burial and according to what royals stated me at one point in time, when they pass away, we just quietly take them to the rest. So we pay them an ultimate respect. They even get to see their own burials, what it looks like, with the honors, how they were buried, and that kind of stuff. You understand? So the accent of this crime was on... Insurance Milan Kuchan Bord Paho received from London. Through this procedure here, through this protocol here that you see here, that it's still in a process. We're going to take one more time, date and time.
Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna burn the movie. This is very important for me to understand that I did not go any place, did not espionage after anybody or anything like this. I did not browse anything on the internet that would suggest. I did not even go over the audio recording. Let's do it together. Like I say, let's get together right now. To prove that all this was done in one piece, here is your audio recording. I'm going to click on it, save button. And you were able to see the time and everything. Now we have the audio recording. It's called 1289. My life, Mr. Joe Biden. My life. You, Trump, Obama, Bush, Clinton. My life. You ruined one for your own interests. 28 years. 28 years. 28 years, Joe Biden. Joe! 28 years! 28 years! It's your job to act on a political stage, a school as smart, as good looking. This is your job, this is not my fucking job. You destroyed, you raped Constitution, Bill of Rights, Universal Human Rights Declaration, United Nations. You raped them. And you gotta be judged according to your bloody deeds. There was no need to do this stuff. And again, it's your job to look cool on a stage. And it's my job to make you look cool on a stage. It's my job to look seal, actually ill, mentally ill. I'm gonna give you all you fucking want. Everything you fucking can get to get away with it. Everything you can get to get away with it. Everything possibly I can do to make you look good, legitimate, credible, normal. 20 fucking 8 years. Do you understand 20 fucking 8 years? You had no platform. You had no reason for crime. Nothing apologize your mindless fucking crime against me. You had absolutely nothing to take life away from me. I have to make sure that you look good, that you look credible, that you look legitimate. Keep walking after your fucking caskets. And I'm gonna try to continue to look as mentally ill, as insane, as angry, as violent, like you rated me in 2013, based on lies! It's not my mental health that suffered. I'm questioning myself how the fuck the people are gonna understand what the fuck you did, if not like this. My health, my mental health is okay. I'm fine, I'm all right. But I wonder how the people are gonna understand what the fuck you did? It's 28 years. It's never been crime as mindless as this. Hey Joe, don't tell this to anybody. But I think too, what the whole America thinks, that you're a fucking mentally ill psychopath. 